Hey everybody, the name is JT back with another YouTube video and we're going to talk about Twitch, OBS, chat commands, and how to make a chat command that is that automatically scans Spotify and shows it in chat when they use the command. So I it's pretty hard to figure this out. I was looking around for it, but I came across this this plugin which doesn't quite it has more than just that but it basically you can basically show what your what your song you're playing with Spotify but we're not going to do any of that because we don't want to display what song we're listening to on well at least I don't I just want to make it a chat command right but you do have the option to use this plugin to display the graphics on your OBS but I'm not getting into that on this video this is specifically only she teaching you guys how to make it a chat command cuz yeah I needed it, so <laughs> we're gonna get into it. So once you install this, so you just go up here and click download, and then you have um you can I would recommend the installer if you're on Windows or the do they have installer for Linux and other stuff? But no. So um I'm not sure what you you guys probably know what to do for these ones. You just drag the files into the respective locations. There, I think they also show you how to do it on here with the instructions, but I just went with this because I'm on Windows. So I went with the installer. It does it for you. You don't have to copy paste files and replace them with each other. So just install this. Once that is done, oops, then <laughs> you go to your OBS and you go to tools. You go to you go to Tuna settings and then you go to Spotify here. Obviously, I got all my stuff hidden here because obviously you don't want to show this to people so what you do here is you just click open login page and then you sign into your spotify account and then it will give you it gives you an authentication code here and then you click request token and then it auto fills both of these um input fields here and then you can click apply okay blah blah blah. then you're done with that and then you go to your basic thing and then you um you can decide if you want to if you wanted to, if you wanted to download the covers, this that's more for displaying the GUI on your OBS. Um, but for me, I didn't really, I don't really need to do this, so I can actually pretty much uncheck that, and it will still work for me. <laughs> but what you need to do here is is do this. So you 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 click Add New, and then it will open up this. So when you click Add New, you have to select a folder. So I just kind of made a, a subdirectory here uh, called Tuna Music, and I and then the text file is called Current Song. So what you need to do here is you can just copy my settings here. You can use percent sign %t and then by percent sign %m, which means percent time %t is the title of the song, and then is by x artist. So that's that. And don't click chat log. Just copy this. Don't check this, and we, you should be good to go. And then once that's done, you just click start so it has to say tuna is running um select spotify and um give it a refresh rate that's not too slow because if we need to change songs it, it won't refresh as fast so i i just picked 500 it, it might even be better to go lower than that but just mess around with that and uh, test yourself okay so that is basically that done all right so we're on the streamer bot section of this video and before we get started here, I want to just, um, I'll link to the the website in the description as well. But you got to go to streamerbot.bot, streamer.bot basically is the website. And just download this, um, it's right here. So the left button here, just click that and download it. Don't worry about Twitch speaker, that's a totally different um, application. So just download streamerbot. And then once you got that installed, open it. And you're going to have to sign it in with twitch so you got to go to settings twitch accounts sign in with your broadcaster account which is the which is the account you stream from and then you're going to want to make a bot account on twitch so just you know how to make you know how to register for twitch accounts just make it a bot account sign in with that sign in with that and then click save save settings and viewers and then then you're going to want to go to the obs page here and then you're going to want to click add give it a name i just actually i just named mine obs and then you're gonna leave this password blank, you're gonna click both of these here, and you're gonna leave the retry interval at 30. And then you're good to go there. And then, so how we get this working is now, once you got those two done, go to the actions uh, tab here, and then 
I have it. I have mine under streamer group. So what you do is you right click, you go add, and then you got to give it a name. So I just say, I just gave mine song and I added it to the streamer group. And then you don't have to make a queue for this. This is not necessary. It will still work without it. But for me, I just have a queue and I have it always run, even if queue is paused. Um, I'll link below in the description for you guys to learn what queues are and stuff, because right now this is just specifically for making the command work. So now what you need to do is once that's created, you can go here to the sub actions tab, which is on the right, click add action, scroll all the way down to file, and then you got to click read lines from file, and then you click that, and then it will open this up. Now, remember in the tuna part of this video, you created a, a text file in a, in a location on your on your hard drive. So what you need to do is you need to go browse to find that and add that here. And then once that's done, then you need to right click and add another action, go down to Twitch, and then click send message to channel. And then that will open up this. And then you need to uh, select your bot account, of course, because it's going to be the one that's messaging in chat. And then what you're going to want to do is copy this copy, whatever I got here for you. So for me, it says the current song playing is percent sign line zero percent sign. So it's always going to always going to read the first line of the text uh, file. So that's why we didn't have a uh, chat log checked in the tune in the tuna settings, because then it would have just made more lines and then you, you wouldn't get the, the the recent song playing. So that's why we did it that way. And then that that's it. Oh, wait, no, then we need sorry about that getting out of myself. Then you need to go to the commands tab here, right click, add, and then it will open up this. So click basic, make sure those are enabled, make sure you have exact and then put exclamation point song here. Make sure you can add a group if you want just to organize everything. And then you got to click action and then it will show you all your actions here. So I have right here song select and then keep everything this the same don't mess with the cooldown unless you want a cooldown message and then if you want to add a global cooldown and a user cooldown you go for it i have mine at 30 seconds so it's not so no one can spam it in the and so if one person uses it then it, you have to have to wait everybody has to wait 30 seconds basically that's what that means and then you click ok and then you click save settings and then let me just pull up my twitch here to kind of you have to keep you also have to keep this program running if you're if you're new and you're wanting to get this you got to keep this running uh, minimize it so let me go to my twitch oh go to my channel here by the way the name's jt go go shoot me a follow please <laughs> so, shameless plug anyways uh channel go here and it should work right i got spotify here obviously if we want we can try we got to go to edm stream beats so no copyright right so if i click a random song here so we're listening to early dynamic and it's by stream beats by harris heller let's just listen to it for a little bit just so it um it can pick it up in because 500 milliseconds right so half a second all right that should be enough so now when i use my command right which is exclamation point song Maybe I got it. Maybe it has to keep. Maybe it just has to. Maybe I can't pause it. If that is the reason, I'm gonna be pissed. There it is. It ha okay. It has to. The song has to be playing for it to work. Oh my gosh. A duh, duh, duh. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is. That was. What the heck, man? Okay. That makes sense now that I think of it because when it, when it was paused, nothing was playing. So. The 200, the 500 milliseconds probably happened, and there was nothing playing, so it couldn't read the, what it was doing. But it, it should stay, still stay in the file, though, right? I don't know. That's so weird. Why that? How that happened? All right. So now, now as you can see in the bottom right, it's working. The current song playing is "Reset" by Harris, by Stream Beats by Harris Heller. And if I switch it, so now we're on Coin Flip. So let's wait a little bit and then I'll use that command again. 
So now you can see the current song playing is Coin Flip by Stream Beats by Harris Keller. Anyways guys, that was the end of the tutorial, I, I would say. <laughs> um, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Comment below if you're using a stream, streamer bot and let me know um, if you enjoy it because for me, that bot is freaking amazing. It does so much more than I just showed you. If you're a streamer, you should really look into it because there is a lot of, it's just so versatile in what it can do. And I just showed you a smidget of what it can do. So yeah, Google it, watch some tutorial videos and yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Peace.